for lesson six, first thing you're supposed to do is work on page S32. It's the opening exercises. So spend a couple minutes, see if you can get your way through those first three angles and see if you can figure out the missing degrees. And then come back and turn this back on in just a second when you're done. Okay, on the first one, hopefully you know something about angles. And ideally, from the other day, you know that this, these are vertical angles. So if this is 36 degrees over here, then this one over here also has to be 36 degrees. And why do we know this? Because they are vertical angles. B. Um, these two. These two are supplementary. They're also a linear pair. And we learned that linear pairs, when you add them together, make 180 degrees. So if we take 180 and subtract 121, we know that this is 9, 8, borrow it 7, 6, 5. This one over here should be 59 degrees. 59 degrees plus 121 degrees should give you 180 degrees. And the last one, we learned that all the angles around one vertex should add up to 360 degrees. So if we take the 172 and the 82 and we add them together, that's going to be a 4, this will be 5 carry the 1, that's going to be 254 for those two. And then if we have 360 and we subtract the 254, we should end up with, that would be a 6, that would be a 0, and that would be a 1. So this should be 106 degrees right here. And so these last two, this one here, that was because they were a linear pair, linear pair, and you need to get used to justifying why we're allowed to do this. And linear pairs, their sum, when you add the two together, so one plus the other, is equal to 180 degrees. And on this one, these are these circle ones, which we said was this one, angles at a point sum to 360. Remember this from the other day. So this is angles around a point sum to 360. Okay, so into the lesson here. Um, further down on page, I'm still on page 32, is two angles AOC and, so that's angle AOC and angle COB with a common side OC. So this is AOC, AOC, and COB, COB, with a common side OC, see how they share this OC side are what if C belongs in the interior of the angle? You know, our word we're looking for here is adjacent angles. So we talked briefly about adjacent in the last uh, topic. Now we're into topic B, and we're going to talk about adjacent angles more. Adjacent means that they have a common side. If they have a common side, we call that adjacent. So the sum of the angles on a straight line is 180 degrees, and two such angles are called a linear pair. So this angle, um, let's see if I put some letters on here, let me, let me just click here. Um, so let's not do A. So X, Y, and Z. Put some points on here. So there's point X. And 
there's point y, and there's point z, and I guess I need a w. And I'll move this out of the way. So x, w, y would be one angle, and y, w, z would be another angle, and those angles, the ones I'm talking about are this one, this x, w, y, and the y, w, z, so the two red ones from here, all the way over to there, and from that one over to there. Those are called a linear pair because they make up this line. You don't have three angles put together to call a linear pair because pair means two. So one's a line and two angles. Now we can still say that these three angles added together is 180, or we can say this angle x, w, y plus y, w, z makes 180 degrees. So two angles are supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180, and two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90. Okay, so the, again, some background knowledge, stuff that you probably already know that we just need to review a little bit. Okay, describing angles as supplementary or complementary refers only to their measures of their angles. So on here, I could have two angles, one over here, and one over here, and if this first angle plus this second angle equals 180, they're still supplementary. Likewise, I could have an angle here, and another angle over here, and if these two angles added together to give me um, 90, then they would be complementary. So Say this one is 47 degrees, then this one would have to be 43 degrees. And if that's 47 and this is 43, then they are complementary. If this one is 120 and this one over here is 60, then they are supplementary. They do not have to be adjacent next to each other. They don't have to share a vertex or anything. As long as their angle measurements add to 180, 180, it's supplementary. And as long as their angle measurements add to 90, they are complementary. So let's go through a couple of examples here. Find the measure of angle DCE. So let's make sure we know where DCE is. So D over to C and back to E. We're talking about that angle right here. And we're given this measure of this angle here is 72 degrees. Makes the graphics a little hard to read. I pulled it out of your, your workbook, but it's kind of blurry on the numbers. Um, this little box right here, you guys already know, this little box means that this one is 90 degrees. And you know that these three together, since they form this line, have to be 180 degrees. So from here all the way around to there is 180 degrees. Which means if I take and subtract these two off from this 180, I should get this angle right here. So if I take 180 and I subtract 90, that's the easy math. That's going to give me 90. And if I then subtract this 72, that's going to give me 18. So this measure right here should be 18 degrees. So the total measure of an adjacent angles around a point, adjacent angles around a point, around a point, means the whole way around has to be 360 degrees. So we're going to use that idea now. So on this last one, we use the idea of um, supplementary or linear pairs. And this one, we're going to use the idea of around a, um, adjacent angles around a point. Okay, so that's 360 degrees. So looking at our next example here in your book, um, you know that this one's 133 because it says so in your book. This one is 147, and we want to know what this one is. But we know the whole way around from here all the way around and back again is 360 degrees. So if we 
either take 360 and subtract each one of these off or add them together and subtract them from 360, you should get the measure of this angle um, HKI. So I am going to, um, since I know that 3 plus 7 is 10, I'm going to add them together first rather than subtracting. So 133 and 147 added together, 0 down carry the 1, 8 down carry the 1, and that is 380. I didn't need to carry the 1, never mind, hold on, get rid of that 1 right there, carry that 1. So this would be, yeah, this is just 8, no carry the 1, this should be a 2, that's better. So then if I take the 360 and I subtract off the 280, we should end up with that angle that we're looking for, so that's a 0, borrow from the 3, Make that into a 16, so that's an 8. So this measure should be 80 degrees. So our answer here would be 80 degrees for HKI, the measure of that angle. In the next example, we need to know the idea of vertical angles. And we looked at vertical angles earlier. And we know that vertical angles have the equal measure or same measure. Two angles are vertical if their sides form opposite rays. Um, basically, you have to have two lines that cross in order to have vertical angles. Okay, so these are vertical angles. And those are not vertical angles. This angle right here is not a vertical angle with that one over here because they don't form lines that cross each other. These are just a bunch of rays that come together. Yes, they join at a vertex, but they are not vertical angles. So make sure you actually do have vertical angles. And again, vertical angles are formed by two lines that cross. So this one here and that one over there are vertical. Or you could look at that one up here with this one down here as being vertical. And you have to have two lines that cross in order to have vertical. Okay, so if we're trying to find the angle TRV, let's point that one out to you. So T to R to V is this angle over here. And we notice we've got a 52 degrees over here. And V to S is a line, and T to U is a line, or part of a line, line, seg line segment. So we know that these are intersecting lines, which means that this has to be a vertical angle, so this has to be 52 degrees. Okay, last part of this video. Find the measure of each labeled angle. Give a reason for your solution. Okay, on this first one, we have 145 degrees here, and we want to find this one over here. We know this is a line, which means from here all the way around to there is 180 degrees, which means I should be able to take 180 and subtract off 145. So borrow from the 8, make that into 10, that'd be 5, and that's 3. So angle measure is 35 degrees. And the reason, the reason is because these two are supplementary or those two are a linear pair. You can use either one. So linear pair would be the more specific term. But linear pairs are supplementary, so you could say that also. So reason linear pair. Okay, the next picture, we've got this one here. Um, find the measure and give the reason. So 40 and C, 40 and C, would be vertical angles, so this has to be 40 over here. So I'm going to fill the 40 in down here. And that is because of vertical angles. All right, and then this is a line coming through here. Okay. Right here, this is a line. And since that's a line, we know that the over here to over there is 180 degrees. So we should be able to take the 180 
minus the 40, and you end up with 140. So that means this angle D here is 140 degrees. And that is because those two form a linear pair. And then the last angle, this angle B, you could do one of two things. You could either say that C and B are a linear pair, or you could say that B and D are vertical, whichever way you want to do this. Um, but B and D have to be the same measure. So I know that this is also 140 degrees. And I did that because I know the vertical angles. So my two blue angles here are vertical. But if you didn't see the vertical angle, you could use the linear pair and subtract from 180 again. Okay, and this last picture. We want to find the measure of E. E is from this line all the way around back to here. And so we know that that all the way around from here all the way to there is 360. And so if we take 360 and we subtract off the 122, um, borrow from the 6, that becomes an 8, and that's a 3, and that's a 2. So angle E should be 238 degrees, and that is because angles at a point all the angles at one point sum to 360. So angles at a point sum to 360 degrees. So I'm going to end this video here. That's about all we'd probably get through in the first day of this lesson, and then I'll continue on in the next video.